days would be all not worth it. But Ooh. Maxwell finds a kill through a smoke, takes down Slight. Brings it to a, a interesting 4 on 4. Now Simba will get one back, gets down two. Stamina looking for a third. Deagle out of hand, finds two. What the hell what? is that from Stamina? That was nice, is what that was. What the? Mr. I has been fragging well for his squad right now, but he needs to be the hero. He needs to do it all. Hex trying to plant on top of the oh. silo, but Swan's popped another. Hex no is way! Down, Swan's got a third. Swan's doing it all. He's got a 4K. <laughs> is Swan going to get the ace to keep that his bears alive? Yes, what? he will. Swan pops off. We're hitting that break. We'll be back for OT3. the flash so there's a lot here for MIBR to try and win the round with cello's gonna be that first to face he sprays down a second oh, smoke. No. big plays from cello and here comes exit try to lock them out of the sight ben is stuck on banana and the rifle stack on b from MIBR has paid its dividends and MIBR can now win this round in peace turtle with that last second cz buy comes up with the last kill and well, that's a great response from MIBR, and party astronauts have looked vulnerable. You got both Swisher and Daps, only with Deagles, they have to lock this down, and the CTs are rotating as fast as they can. They're flooding oh. in, Daps gets the first one, and he get himself a second, he does! <gasps> so now it's just turning in. I'm getting low here. Silas waiting for his moment in Hut, but Scar gonna take him down as he steps into Hut. Delta does trade out. X13 now making their way out. Squeaky onto the A side. Delta gonna get one more from the Hut entrance. And X13 trying to go for the plant, but it stands still at default. It will take down all three as he steps out from behind default. Silo and B Hop. Mr. Minus two. The AKV one S. Gets the spray, but actually gets taken down. So it's only two players remaining. The smoke on top. Oh no! Oh no, Kusta! Kusta! Oh no, Kusta! You Kusta? gotta hit this! You gotta Kusta? hit this! Oh god! Third impact. They take it flawlessly with an eco, and they're able to get. Swisher. Now he knows. They know exactly where he is. Oh no! Oh, oh no. And he's dead. He's gone. They eats the trade! Oh, oh my goodness! What are we playing here? Ooh, nice peek from Minus. Goes for the actual the jiggle peek through the smoke, so a nice little... ...actor quite quickly in the fact that Pone alone's gone into the back lines means there's a lot more places he can go. Jota drops, he taps the bomb. Molotov now to maybe force Pone alone further back. Jota, he has to stick, he has to hold. Pone alone's going, he's burning. That's such a great Molotov. Oh yeah, it is, but Jota's not taking the initiative. He's gonna go forward now, but he doesn't have the time. It's all oh, over, he got caught he gets stuck on the, the door. door. That's so unlucky for Jota and party astronauts will luck their way into their first round on this map. Remaining here for one tap, and he puts down two quickly with the Desert Eagle, through double doors, and then one digs minus in the lower B tunnel. A ridiculous play from Elk. That is a... And, and deal way more damage unless he gets spotted out, which he won't because Obviously, Carpe Diem thinks that our yard is clear. Look at this info oh for gosh. Shake and the discipline as he comes through onto this A site. He's eventually going to have to fire. There it is. Hex not expecting it. Gets the follow up on Chop. So well played by Shake Zula. The big. Right now, for Eros, you wanted to have a clean pistol round. Deny the bomb plan, win the pistol round, give yourself a chance. Freshy Believer mm. and under pressure, somehow still alive and actually able to get a one kill out of this, maybe a second even. Oh, he's gone around! He's, how is he not dead? What? He's still alive! How is he still alive, John? He got 6 HP and he should have been what? dead so long before! Does he have time? I think he does. Yes. Yeah, he's got time! How has he won this round? How has he got four kills? How is he not dead so far before? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh 15 slight does have bomb. He's gonna try and get himself an AK he gets himself an M4 jumps up on top of box And this could be the play he spots on the shoulder five seconds left. He fakes it once And he gets the kill with just three seconds left Joel's with two slight coming up clutch with the 3k Now strife with a two round lead
through for Austin. Jota finds two through the smoke though. <laughs> this guy. Stop this him. guy. He can't see anything. He, he he's just uh, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh okay. That was a whipper of a shot for Jolton. Now he's alone. He's looking for more. Oh, They're no! knifing him. Oh, Turtle no. knifes him to end it all out. MIBR ending it with flair. Ending it with style. Ending it with a little bit of extra salt rubbed straight into that wound. I mean, it, it's dominant. It's what we expected from MIBR heading into this, obviously. Maxwell top stairs ledge. This is the op shot, but it's Garfield quickly getting redemption for the CT side. Kills three there through the double doors towards Cat Carson eventually trades out, but Maxwell able to trade right back a moment. On the bend, though, that'll make it easier for Exit and Woody to make this round converted in the favor of MIBR. John G. Cutoff will buy Exit. Ben is low and bone alone back towards Cubby. 2v2, nade for exit, can put Ben to bed very quickly. The open plant is a problem for Woody, but he spotted out the kneecaps of Ben, and he's given them the good old-fashioned bat treatment. Taps the bomb, knows where Poe alone is, he can't convert the spray. And Woody will win the Oppers rifle duel, no kit, no problem. 7-0 to zero in favor of MIBR. That's a round you really need if you're the... But once again, B-Hop, even though they're at a man disadvantage, they are in some good positions here. But Stan, gonna get picked off there at the end of Banana. Can B-Hop withstand Beaky with low HP? Does kill one from the back of the side. Beaky lining up two more after the repeat from the back. Barrels 1v1 situation, and he gets the final AK kill onto Halo as well. Polo's brought it to a 1v1 situation. He has the MP9, which... Should be the advantage here, close range. He now switches to his USP, does some damage onto Bowden, but Bowden's chasing him with the op. And after they ring around the default boxes, Bowden does land that no scope. Ridiculous shot there from Bowden under pressure, but that is what he's known for. He's known for wild op play. He brings it to a 1v1, but look at the health. And look what Carson has as a gun. An op versus a one HP AK. It's literally gonna come down to one shot. Carson, he could go for the sidearm, but he doesn't know this. He doesn't know where Freshie's been dinked. He's taking fights. He doesn't need to go around for peaks. And he's going to run into Freshie, who's oh clutched up gosh. two rounds in a row. He's been the hero for heroes here, and we talked about it in the halftime. They need a hero place. And it was Freshie with the pistol round clutch. Cal yeah, might give it a try. And now the forces do join. So Kusa, an opportunity. He's reading that someone will want to boost on up. Of the box, but no one's coming. Instead, he'll just like to play off the contact of his teammates. Oh, that's Daps. Oh, that off the seeds. Daps finds blood, but it's one for one. And the team who's dealt Kusta is quick with this one. Because there for the opener and Kusta. A position spotted out, taken down. Because Zara, this man is on a mission. The fire's still burning for map number one. It's continued into map number two, and now Swisher. Is in such a tough spot. Four hundred dollars in the back pocket, an AK in your hands. Got to back away. To save this, this has a big one to find. Still looking to barrel in towards sight. Smokes do block us off as well. Carson will fly through. That's so bold, and it works. Transfer not so much, but at this point they have shut down the round. Drop the bomb with only twenty seconds to go. These bears have taken this A site and also drop chop. Hex trying to come back in, but Spongy with a nutty little tap, then shake with one of his own into boiler. That makes it a three v two in favor of the bad news bears. Three v two in favor of the bad news bears, but it's brought to a two v two as Wiz gets one and Spongy gets dunked on. Walt goes falling, making more kills, working back his way. And Spongy, how long can he survive? He's blind, but he's not dead yet. Wiz, you have the kit. Wiz, you should be on sight. What? Oh, push him one by one. It's Spongy with the four K. Oh my goodness. X thirteen on a semi buy here. Three tech nines, two deagles. Beaky gonna connect it ramp. He's got Scar down to just 23 HP. He's gonna kill Wilkie on the B site and hits the no scope as Maxwell moves out lower ramp. It's another no scope from Beaky as he peeks the opposite side of the lower ramp. Eventually, Scar does trade him out, but Delta 9 good for the immediate trade there out towards Cat. It's still man advantage here for one tap. 55 seconds remaining, all three. ATK players making their way towards a elk 
partially blind, still kills Bone there in the A ramp, and he hits a great reaction shot towards Palace as well. Fady down, and it's only Mission remaining here for ATK. Frankie good for that final kill onto Mission and one tap. They've Low on these kinds of rounds, build up their bank early on so that CT economy doesn't come back to bite them in the end. And Reality, he starts it off nice. Yeah, nice shot from Reality. He's gonna get himself a second, oh, a third, oh. and a fourth. The quad kill comes through on the anti-eco here for Reality. Shutout could drop him if he takes a few steps too far here, and he will. So Reality will not find the but Jazz can clean things up, finding that final frag on Shutout. So, Almost the uh, ace there on the anti-eco in the game of Gladiator. As stamina gonna spray through, finds two quick ones, switches over to the AK, spray through, and then finds a third. Stamina gonna swing, he's looking for the ace, they line up, and there it is, stamina, finally. Finally getting around for Strife as they find a through these A4s. They're standing strong. Oh, nice cleanup here. Daps and both minus. They're actually able to find two, so they have a good crossfire. Minus finally gets taken down, but the bombs have dropped. 26 seconds remaining. So you're going to be able to creep on through. Gets the first connect, but Swisher does one a little bit better. Now looking to see what else he can do with that A4. And he will easy put him to the peasy. grave, and it is an easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, obtains the AK, and yeah, I'd say wait. Actually, I stand corrected. It's down to a 101. <laughs> Almost. Oh, man. I really thought that went the other way for a second. Slight to try and clutch this up. Op v op. Not like this. And the bomb gets diffused, and we find ourselves in a... A ninja defuse situation and Eros. Uh Eros find fourteen as the ninja defuse gets stuck. One on three. Res really clutched it up there. Saying that out loud kinda hurts. Uh, the game before everything else does reality. Carson going to get that shot on shutout, and he spots out Freshy, but unfortunately for Carson, Freshy is able to get that headshot, even though Carson certainly had the edge. Now Omniscient's going to drop George. Cynic finally gets a response here, and we sit at a 3v3, and then Cynic follows it up with another one on Resi, and then the no-scope on Omniscient! Oh my goodness, Cynic putting on a highlight reel play there. JT Mythic, the last one standing. And I mean, look, there was a moment there, Austin, where it looked... The cojones on this guy! Call him William Wallace. Call it Braveheart. How do you make you decide... Impossibility. Statistically, so close to impossible, but still, the bomb's down. Oh, and look at this now. So they got the rifles, and they, they again, Grape has a lot of utility. Switcher! Swisher's exposed. Oh, but look at this. He gets, the, one he gets the second. He does. So now it's down to the 1v1. Daps is. They're able to quickly finish off Sanders. All up to Silas. Silas able to drop one there from the double doors. He's low on ammo. Is he going to reload? They. Oh, Silas! Stepping back into the double doors. Lines up a double headshot. At first, it was just Wilkie, but he held on to fire off his last bullet, and the headshot lands a.